What's going on, champs and champettes? It's Fire Monkey here, and welcome to another playthrough of The Binding of Isaac Repentance. Now, a few things I want to mention firstly is that if you've been watching the series through the first episode to now the third one, you may have noticed there's a little bit of some frame lagging. It was very, like, hard to notice, but it was still there. That has been fixed with today's video, as I've looked up how to fix that, and that won't be an issue going forwards. However, I know you may be like, wait, weren't you going to do a normal commentary video today? Uh, yeah, but there was a Fortnite update today, and I am honestly mind-melted. Like, we had to look at cosmetic leaks, we had to do all this stuff, and I've been having a terrible time trying to sleep. So we're just gonna start another Isaac Run play it through here. But, man, like, I don't know why, it's like if I try going to sleep, right, at, um, around... At, at like, a normal time, because for, for some context here, when I typically go to sleep, at least recently... It will be like 12 a.m., 1 a.m., and then I'll wake up at like 10. Or actually, I'll wake up around 8, and then I'll just go back to sleep for a few more hours. And whenever there's an update, I have to be up at like 4 in the morning to leak it. I was sitting there, and I was like, all right, you know what? I'll go to sleep early. That way I can be up early, not feel tired, and I can just get everything done with. And let me tell you, no. That was not going to happen. I would wake up every like half an hour. And, man, I, I couldn't go back. I couldn't actually sleep. It was like I wasn't even sleeping. It was like I was just opening my eyes every half an hour. Minecrafter, which is boom. I think this is just TNT we can place and then explode manually. Let's try it out. Yep, just manual, manual explosion TNT. But I just can't manage to get a good night rest if I go to sleep at a normal average human's time. I guess I'm just a night owl or something. Who really even knows anymore? But, like, even after the update today, after I leaked everything with Fortnite, I, uh, tried getting some sleep. I, I actually managed to stay asleep for maybe an hour maximum. And then I woke back up. So, like, right now I am feeling a little tired, but with everything going on when it comes to Fortnite leaks and everything recently, I, I'm awake. Because, for some context here, for those who are unaware, I messed up. I, I think that's as simple as it's gotta be. I messed up. So basically, it was possible to leak encrypted cosmetics from this update, which is like stuff that normally is, you know, impossible to leak until it officially releases. And because of that, <clears throat> I, I, I got given the IDs for stuff so I can get some footage and whatnot just to prepare, you know, videos and tweets or whatever ahead of time. Just so I wouldn't have to worry about it later. And it would be like, hey, the info's out there now from other people. I'm going to share my own version of it. Enjoy. And I shared images of two of the leaks early now these two leaks were february's fortnite crew pack and green goblin I share those early to one of my friends because i knew they were super into that franchise and just all that type of stuff they shared it to someone and it ended up getting leaked to the public and because of that who do they turn to because they realize hey this is the only person they could have leaked from that's right it's me so i ended up having to figure out what was going on found out the whole situation and it was just a pain and like you know i feel bad about it because I, I didn't intend for it at all. It just ended up happening like that one day. So that's been kind of on my mind. So it was like, I don't, <laughs> I don't think I can do a normal commentary video today. I think I've just got to, I got to do another one of these uh, Let's Plays The Binding of Isaac. Plus, it's super chill for me to just relax and ramble on for like 30 minutes about whatever. And just feel a little bit more, I guess, energetic or whatever. And I guess it's good I took uh, the chariot for this because I hate the gurglings. Gurglings can uh, die nicely gently you know youtube don't don't demonetize me because i said die i didn't I, I threatened an inanimate object youtube don't do anything to me please but um oh, i still got hit of course but um yeah so crazy twitter stuff going down hopefully everything settled hopefully i'm not you know nemesis number one we got lazarus is that for having a lot of blue hearts? I don't remember how you unlock Lazarus, but considering the fact that we got it after using blue hearts, it's either related to that or using pills. And I would put my money on uh, it being related to blue hearts. <clears throat> but yeah, Twitter was full of tons of crazy nonsense. And I, I'm just like, I, I feel bad, you know? Cause it's like, I didn't intend for that to happen. I just thought, hey, I want to show one of my friends cool thing because it's a cool thing and I know they like cool thing. And then it ended up ruining the surprise of what people had originally planned to do for the whole situation. So it's really just a series of unfortunate stuff. Um, 
Do I want to buy? Do I want to use a key just to go in there and get that thing? What is that? It it looks like meat. It looks like a sausage. Like a what would that even do? Is that a space bar item? I'm I'm flabbergasted right now. I said a big word too, but um I don't know what's going on there. And the shops right there. Okay, that means technically, I mean the treasure room, not the shop. I am smart. <clears throat> we can go to the treasure room for free. So maybe I will use a key. We do have a lot of hearts, but also I kind of want to just keep the hearts just in case. You know, we get a very good devil deal situation going on and we want to lose all of our red hearts. Go blue baby mode and just have blue hearts until we manage to get like a health up or something. Imagine we get brimstone. Sheesh. All right, let's go to our treasure room. Let's just go to the treasure room first to see what's even in there. I'm so glad we have Minecrafter. I hope that down there is in the space bar. Oh, yeah. Okay, I know this item. I know exactly what it does. All it really does is turns one of your eyes, pops them out like one of the bosses, and makes it fly around. If it hits people, it will deal damage to them. And I think if I shoot... Oh, no, it doesn't. Oh, it doesn't, but now one of my tears are bloody. Okay, I was going to say, I think if I shoot, it shoots from that as well. But it, that might be a different item. There's a billion items in this game. But uh, I think the red tier will do slightly more damage. Unless it's just a visual thing. Because I know stuff like Blood Clot will do slightly more damage. Whoa, 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 dang it. Tried dodging so hard. Didn't get too far. Alright, so we got another key. So I think it's safe that we just book it into the shop. See what's going on in here. Not much. We can go to 45 in the donate. We can go a little bit above 45. We can go up to 50, so we should be able to get an actual shop upgrade here. Maybe we go to shop level 2. There's options that appeared in the basement. That's actually not what I expected, but it is a really good item if we end up getting enough money early game to pick it up. So with that said, let's grab this thing. All stats up? Oh! <laughs> Look at my tongue. I love that. Oh, man. Oh, Book of Belial, or... Ah, so we have infinite bomb use, right? Or increased damage use on like every few three, every like three to four rooms. Oh, I really love using having like infinite bombs though, because that like just is super helpful for finding secret rooms and stuff, trying to go to places that you may not be able to go to. But damage up would really help us late game. I mean, let's grab this real quick just so we can get it in our collection book here. Man, this is a hard choice. Damage. I think... Ah, uh, it's a hard choice! We'll keep this room in mind, but we'll see what we have in our Devil Dill first. Oh, oh, oh boy. Okay, okay. I, I, I forgot how scary these guys can be when they go invisible and you just don't know where they are. We got a bomb back, so that's really good. Um, But I think we just gotta fight the boss, hope for a good Devil Dill. If it's not good, we'll take... We'll keep our Minecrafter item? I don't, I don't know. It's a very situ it's a very interesting situation where it's like on one hand, a lot of damage up is amazing. Let's use that just to get the. <gasps> it didn't do damage. Did the, fr the they just perfectly frame jumped that. You cheater! You cheating monstro! I can't believe this. I'm you're uninvited to my birthday party, monstro. I'm sorry. You, you've cheated. I can't I can't let you do that in my run. I mean I'm still gonna beat you easy peasy. I can't believe you would cheat like that. Especially on me, man. Man. Okay, so what it... Oh! <laughs> Damage up. Nine lives. Um, no, thank you. I think I'm good. Nine lives will take us down to one red heart. And give us nine lives, of course. So we'll be able to respawn nine times. But I've taken that item before... And it can ruin runs if you end up scuffing up and losing your blue hearts. So I'm going to take the safe bet here. Go Book of Belial. I think this run's going to be a Book of Belial run. We have two bombs so we can guarantee our secret room as long as we know the general area it's going to be in. And that will be pretty good for us. But yeah, <clears throat> I hope everyone's been having a good day. Hope everyone's enjoyed the Fortnite leaks if you pay attention to Fortnite stuff. And if you're just here for the commentary stuff, you're not really into the Fortnite zone, I hope you enjoy the commentary channel videos. I personally have been enjoying this new style where I just kind of ramble on about the random stuff. 
while playing um, Binding of Isaac. I plan to mix in some other games here and there, maybe uh, Let's Build a Zoo, which is like this very pixel arty game, has a very nice aesthetic that I've been trying out recently. Got it on the Steam Winter Cell. And yeah, I just hope you've been enjoying this change of pace for the channel. I have been personally. And Binding of Isaac is just one of those games I'll end up playing a lot and then I'll take a long break from, so maybe playing it, you know, as a recording will get me to play it more often. Shot speed up. Oh, yeah, I forgot there's dialogue to that too. So this is going to be pretty easy to fight. Let's hope the next floor. Okay, this is just, this is going really well. I am having no issues here. Well, except for when I almost got cornered there. But that is a different situation. Um, but yeah. I, I know I'm probably going to say, and I'm saying um and but yeah a lot, but I mean, that's the, that's the sauce of the uncut commentary content where I just kind of ramble on about topics and stuff. <sighs> it's just, it, it's just my brain's been melted, you know, with all the Fortnite leaks and that whole entire situation that's going on. We'll actually need a key to get into our secret room, which sucks, uh, especially, actually, you know what, not really that much if this area is going to be like a, a key area, because we only have two, we only have two coins, so it doesn't really matter too much there. Uh, we'll try for a secret room right there. Doesn't seem like a good spot. Yeah. My only other bet for this area would be right here. Nope. Okay, we're going to keep our final bomb just to be safe. Because we haven't even explored this upper area at all. But a bean has appeared in the basement. Now we can toot on command even more. I just love getting new items even if they're pointless to me. Break you. Break you. I just realized how pointless that is. Eliminate you. Oh, a boss room. If I start getting shot by that, yeah, I'm out. I'm outie. I'm outie. You try shooting me once, I'm outie. Don't even try it. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Break it all. Break it all down. There we go. All right, now we're safe whenever we want to go to the boss fight, which is really nice. But I would love a key right now, game. You know, if you wanted to sauce me a key over so I can go into the treasure room at least, that would be amazing. You know, this would have been a different story if we had Minecrafter on our side still. But we don't. Oh, thank you. Thank you, game. That's exactly what I wanted. They must be they must be fire monkey viewers. They must be a champ on the champ hat, right? The game devs. Yeah, they watch me all the time. You know, we're best friends. We're homies. We go way back. Um, I changed my mind. <laughs> you gave me a space bar item that gives me pills so I can be an al not an alcoholic, a pillaholic. I can be addicted. Uh, that pill did basically nothing for us. That was pretty much just a waste of a key. And I, oh wait, you know what, let me check something. Ooh, I think the secret room's right here. This has got to be the secret room spot. What? Okay. I stand corrected. It wasn't there. I. In, n uh, n yeah. Okay. Let's activate our spacebar item. Get plus two point one damage. Oh yeah, this was the right choice. Look at that. Look at that damage. Oh, I forgot. I forgot about their brimstone cross. Okay. And by the time this video comes out, uh, a thing that will be leaked in two minutes will already be out there, which is the, uh... Oh, we got Bookworm. All right, Pog. Now we got a little uh, thing. I think that gives us a chance of double tiers, yeah. But uh, the I like to move it, move it emote is going to be leaked in two minutes as of the time you're recording today's YouTube video. And let me tell you, when I saw that one, because I, I was only given, like, I only saw, like, the ID for it. So when I saw the actual, like, encrypted emote, I was like... <gasps> No way, because you just get you just get flashbacks to the movie, you know, to the, the Madagascar movies, and it's like, yo, this is in Fortnite now, and that's something that's crazy about Fortnite, right? It's it's there's so much stuff in Fortnite that they're adding all the time that it's like you can't really hate on the game because they have everything. It's like if a game, if another franchise is doing really good. You can tell it's doing really good when it has a collaboration with Fortnite, when it shows up in the Fortnite world, or like a Fall Guys or something. When it shows up in one of those games, that's how you know that game is a really well-respected game, and I love those collabs. I find them insane. 
So it's just really cool to see all the uh, insane stuff that's releasing into the wild, the wild, wild west. Um, I, I, like, I, there's still a lot of stuff I would love to see come into Fortnite, but it's like um, based on leaks and stuff. Usually when something comes to Fortnite, it takes a long time before it officially gets added. So it's like, it's understandable, but at the same time, there's so much cool stuff I want to see in the game already. Like, apparently Doom Slayer's coming, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are coming to the game. And I'm just like, yo! I, 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 the, the thing about it, you can be the Doom Slayer in a party with Michelangelo. <laughs> Michelangelo, Ninja, the Twitch streamer, uh, Naruto, and, and just like the whole gang. In a party, fighting against Rick from Rick and Morty. It, it just, anything's possible in Fortnite nowadays. Fortnite revolutionized when the whole like collab space when it comes to video game stuff, and it's crazy. I just wasted my key. Damn it! Dang it, man! I wasted my key. I was just I was just rambling on about Fortnite. I completely forgot about the, the, what was going on over there. Ooh, actually, we might be able to hit the shop up. Yeah! We can buy an item in the shop or just donate all of our coins. Really depends, I guess, on what's in here. What do we have? Uh, is that extra tarot card space? Let's just donate. Let's just donate all we can. If we can donate all of this, that'll be pog. I think it's going to cap out. Up. There we go. We have a higher angel room chance, so donating was definitely the play because we can start taking angel deals this run. And angel dills are just shish. And as I say that, I look down at the time. The move it, move it emote's been leaked to the public. It is officially out there. And oh man, I love it. I love that emote. I would put it in this video when I'm editing it. Or if I actually, let's be honest here. These videos aren't really that edited. All I do is go into my editing software and add the outro to it. <laughs> but. Oh. 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 Ooh. But um, I'm, I'm super excited to see all the cool stuff Fortnite ends up at. I, I've realized something. I've realized that the coin beggar's right there. He will take my keys away from me. So let me first open the treasure room before we try stealing the rest of those. Because I want to make sure I at least get this bonus room area. Um, I just got a notification. I don't care, Amazon. I don't want to buy whatever you're trying to sell me right now. Ooh, let's just take it. Zap. I'm pretty sure this makes it so now between two bullets there will actually be like an electrocution type system going on here. If my bullets are fast enough... Oh, wait, no. It's when it connects to an enemy. I don't know. I know it's a good item. It helps with my damage. It helps with the damage I do, so... It's a good item there. So let's just go with it. Let's hope for the best. <clears throat> but, um... Some of the other games I'm thinking about doing like some playthroughs on on this channel, mix in with the commentary stuff, is like uh, Portal, the Portal franchise, those type of games. Um, yeah, we, we scuffed up there. But we still got a key. Uh, the Portal games, uh, let's build a zoo. Uh, Super Auto Pets, just because I've been trying to get a win. I suck at Super Auto Pets uh, entirely, but uh, I, th I think I can do good at it. And just, you know, just tons of cool little games that I can just play while rambling on that aren't too hard or, like, sweaty or anything. Protect me from myself. Ooh, the circle. Now, if I remember correctly, the circle will actually either block projectiles or it will cause people who are in the circle to take damage. One of the two things. Overall, pretty good item. It's time, though, to go to the next floor. This is a pretty good run. Like, man, you know, the past two runs we've recorded here have been very bad. Let's, let's, just, let's just keep it a stack with you guys. The past two runs have been bad. The second run we got a win with, but it was still a very, like, eh, uneasy run, you know? This run I'm feeling super confident about, and I'm just like, we cleared that floor insanely quickly. I, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm confident this is going to be a run that we complete, you know, we do really well on. And I think it was a good choice we took the Book of Belial because that just is allowing us to have these future deals up ahead. Uh, we gotta take the mystery. The $15 item is a space bar item 
but it would still be nice to have for the collection. So 15 plus 7, and we're going to do math here, guys, to see if I can pick up both of these. Just to get the 15 one for the collection book, and then the 7 one just to see what's inside of it. So 15 plus 7, I believe, would be 22? Let's pick it up. It's the bug catcher, and then we got this, which gave us some money back. All right. I, I mean, I was I was kind of right here, and bombs are key. <laughs> I regret my life choices. I needed that key. <laughs> I needed that key for the <laughs> for the treasure room game. Ah! ah! I didn't know they uh, split their brains out. That's new to me. I didn't know they just did that. Oh. All right, well, you know what? I don't need a key anyways. Where I'm going, we don't need new keys because we already got one. We are fine, boys. We are fine. There's nothing to worry about here. You're also doing insanely good on blue hearts, so we can... Uh, did we get an angel? Oh, wait. Tinted rock. Mr. Mega has appeared in the basement. Pog. But uh, I think we can get... um. A angel room next floor this floor we have a 20% chance but is that 40% total or is that 20% because like do, do the devil and angel add up to be like hey there's a 40% chance you have one of these rooms spawn or is it just kind of like a uh, you have a 20% chance for one to spawn and it's a 50 50 of which one it is I feel it's a 50 50 of which one it is with a 20% chance but I could be wrong here and it could be like a stacking system you guys are learning along as I learn, so it's like, hey, if I'm dumb, then it's understandable. This is this is just me speaking what I'm thinking out loud. We got another blue heart. We are doing super good. If we can get two more hearts, we can get a Magdalene unlocked. And that would be hype! Just go here. Do damage. Bada bing, bada boop. Where is the treasure room? It's got to be down there to the right, then. There's no way it's, like, connected to this. Yeah. Okay. At least it's not connected to that floor. Because that would be a really weird, like, area. You have, like, this, and then you go right, and then you go down. But it's also, like, a 4x4 four four where it's, like, you could have gone the other way as well. Uh, This is a weird area to be in for these guys. Can I hit them when they're sideways? Kind of? Uh, I mean, we still did it. It's kind of confusing. Secret room can't be down here because the curse room is a small room, so it's got to be up there. Never mind. I'm just dumb. But yeah, the zap feature I, I, is, is a really cool item, especially for these guys, because I hate having to get like behind them and shoot their heads. It's just so like, time-consuming. It's not even hard. It's just boring to do. A baby. We always get end up with a baby on our team. We always end up with like a pet or something. No matter what we're doing, we just end up with a companion to follow us around on our journey. And I find it ironic that we got the pentagram first in this run, and then we got an angel dill. So we're the holy Satan. We're the, we're the holy sat Satanist or something. I, <laughs> what, what? What am I? Am I even real? Is this real life? Another pill. Ah. Uh, rip, 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 get me through. Ah, oh, dang it. Pointless damage is being taken. Overall, though, I'm really enjoying this run. We got 5.86 base damage, and then whenever we use our uh, space bar, we get, oh, like, a 2 damage buff, 2 to 3 damage buff. So now we're at 7.98, and if we just quickly eliminate them, boys, and make sure not to get hit by that, we end up super fine. I hate this boss just because uh, when they're on their phase where they're starting to shoot out like brimstones. Or that. Yeah, that too. But um, I, I just this boss is just a very interesting boss. Because doesn't it... Uh, I brain, brain work well. Is, is it this version of this brimstone or is it the next version? It's this version. Yep, yep, that right there. That right there is what scares me. That, yep, because you have to stay in the middle and it like zigzags around to try getting you hit. We got a devil dill. We're not taking it. I don't want I don't want another baby on this run. We, we end up with too many babies. We end up with too many babies on the run. We don't need more babies. I almost took the item on accident. Oopsie. 
one more heart one more health up and we actually unlock magdalene so maybe we will do it maybe we will unlock a new character this run and then we can start mixing it up maybe do some azazel runs if we want some easy matches played through but man oh oh god yeah that was that was on me that, that was just entirely my fault there ah uh, the poop is moving oh what the what, is, what does this item do I don't know what this item does, and I'm scared. What do you mean the poop's moving? I don't want the poop to move. Don't make the poop move. Oh, we're taking pointless damage. Ah, the land of the point! No, oh, oh boy. Oh, why? <sighs> Man, I, I just wasn't prepared to fight a boss. If I was prepared to fight your monster, I would, this would have gone away better, but I was not prepared. I was I was just going to it. No, I'm a fly. And then you all of a sudden showed up, and I was like, Dab the morning to ya. I do not appreciate. Get rid of these guys first! Oh boy. Oh man. They just randomly turned on me. They turned to different creatures. They. Wait. How did. Okay, wait. I Yeah, I lost my blue heart. Okay. I was like, how did I take blue heart? How did I take red heart damage out of nowhere? Doesn't make sense. I have a blue heart. Shouldn't have taken that damage first. It's just because I didn't realize what I ran into and how my health situation was. Well, oh, almost just touched the spike like an idiot. I don't you hate it when you're just like playing and then you accidentally just tap upwards ever so slightly into that spike and you just stab yourself to death. Yeah, uh, just just uh, hashtag just girly things, of course, though. Just things that happen, you know, to every girl such as me. All of us pretty pretty people who just end up stabbing ourselves on accident. All right, we got a bomb. Do we have any tinted rocks? The, when you get to the lower floors, you know, like the way to tell a tinted rock is if there's an X. If there's an X in the rock, it's tinted. And I am a rock expert analyzing every single rock. Dwayne the Rock Johnson isn't here, but I am. And I don't see a tinted rock. Is there a tinted rock here? No. No tinted rock. All right. Tinted rock up here, maybe. Does not look like it. I'm, I'm like focusing on the tinted. I'm, I'm focusing on the rocks while just shooting to the side, hoping to kill stuff. I, I, I think, I think I have my priorities in the wrong place here. Oh, oh, there's actually creatures on this. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, and we got a key, so we can just hop in here. <gasps> my favorite item. So, if anyone doesn't know, this right here is my favorite item in the entire game because it gives every single enemy a health bar. And if the spider touches an enemy, it gives them a random effect. I love spider mod. Spider mod's my favorite buddy in the world. I just love seeing a health bar for everything I'm fighting. It just is super cool. Whoa. Yeah, like, look at that. We have a health bar underneath him now. It's like, hey, he has this much health. He, he vibing. Joe Biden. And it helps out. It just helps you figure out what to attack and when to attack it. And also our electric is doing damage here. Jesus. Wasn't even a worry in the world. Ow. Yeah, that was that was understandable, that damage right there. But this run is golden. This is an amazing run. And if we get a health up in our shop here, even if we lose at that point, we'll uh, be able to just not a health up, but it's a turret follower. So we have a we have another follower with us. We have a, someone who's just gonna help us attack our way through the journey. Uh, but as I was saying, if the, even if we lose this run, as long as I unlock something new like a Magdalene or something, I'm completely fine with it. Oh wait, we're on we're on we're on the mom fight already. Oh man, we are already on the mom fight. Jeez, when did, how how did we get this far already? Has it even been 30 minutes? It's it's been 28 minutes. I wasn't prepared for this. Maybe I should just throw for content right now, you know? Maybe I should just die and just lose so we have more content, more time to play this match or something, you know? Whoop. There's the boss and done. Oh, wait. <gasps> oh, we go down further. Oh, I forgot about this. But anyways, new character! Woo! And we unlocked a new challenge. Another challenge. Let's go! Alright, now this is a scary area because each hit we take will be a whole entire heart instead of half of a heart. And this always happens once you get to the womb one or lower. So, yeah. Now, this is where it gets intense. And also, everything turns red. It's bloody. 
So this, I, I wasn't, I, I didn't realize that we actually progressed to that point. I didn't realize you got it at this point. I thought you had to like fight uh, mom multiple times. But this means we should fight mom's heart next. Hopefully, I think that's, I think that's what's happening this run. I think we end up fighting mom's heart. And once you defeat mom's heart eight times, it turns into it lives. If I'm remembering correctly from my past time playing The Binding of Isaac. Uh, at this point, we don't have treasure rooms or anything anymore. That's something I feel like I should mention for those who are just following along that haven't played The Binding of Isaac before. Once you get to this area, no more treasure rooms show up. I don't believe shops show up either. So keys kind of become more useless. And it's more of just like a, hey, if you got a key, then it's like, yeah, maybe you find a golden chest during the run. Because they don't really become that important. That's, that's just the summary of how keys end up turning out once you get further into the match. It's like, you've gone set up on the previous floors, and now it's up to you to decide your fate. Get that key. And continue onwards. And these tentacle guys, uh, they don't actually damage you unless you walk into them. They are just made to be annoyances. Just to be annoying blockers that just block your path. And let's say there's a room that's usually surrounded by one enemy with like a million tentacles around them. That's usually what they're there for, just to block your path. Just to make it harder for you to continue the run. Let me see, can I break both of those with that bomb? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right. Gotta love when that happens. We also still have the Book of Belial, so we're going to be getting damage bonuses whenever we fight the bosses. And we only have to fight one more boss before we fight It Lives. Now, It Lives is going to be kind of scary for me. Because I don't know how damage is scaled between It Lives and the boss we just fought, Mom. Uh, so, it's going to be an interesting journey. And with me getting hit by literal giant turds... Uh, this might this might be bad for me. <laughs> this might be bad for me. The turds are attacking, and they're attacking fast. All right, let me scratch my head here. Let's do a little thonking, a little thinking thonking. Oh, oh boy, oh, 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 dodging, dodging, weaving. We got a blue heart. That is useful. Just give us that extra space. This is a very easy enemy because they're attached. That is pointless. Oh, no, it's not pointless. We should have took that after we defeated the boss. <laughs> Dodge and weave and boss time. What do we got? Oh, okay. You know, this is a very interesting occurrence for me because I never really got this as a normal boss. I always got it as like a side boss when you're on the chest. Um, I always just got it as one of those extra bosses that filled up a room. I didn't, I, I, it's been so long, I didn't even realize that those were their own boss boss. But, <laughs> it's time. The final floor of this run, and I guess that makes up for us realizing that we were speeding through the earlier levels. Because now it's like, hey, you're on the final floor. Further down here. That gives us two uses, which is going to be super useful in the boss fight. I like saving uh, these up for the final boss just because uh, the damage doesn't really matter if I can't make it through the uh, normal floors. But if I can make it through the normal floors, then that damage buff on the boss fight is just mm, amazing. So we are going to try making our way through all of this, get to the boss, and then activate our thing twice. Just to make sure, you know, everything's going well, everything, we, we guarantee ourselves a damage buff on top of a damage buff! Okay, thank god we had speed. I got scared. <laughs> I think you guys could tell by my voice, I got a little scared there. Range plus luck up, might as well take it. We got the mother synergy? I didn't realize we were that far. Um. Um. <laughs> I don't think, I, I don't know how many people know this, but you see this item right down here? It looks like a Bible, right? That's because it's a Bible. You can use the Bible on Mom to one-shot the boss. <laughs> it's a one-shot. <gasps> no way, we just magically get that. That is, that is crazy. Well, you guys ready to see the easiest boss fight of your life? <laughs> Oh, that is so, that makes me so happy. I am so happy to see that. 
Because now, as long as we don't use the item on like this floor or something by mistake, we get a easy win. An easy heart win. Ah, man. I'm loving this run. I'm so happy I decided, hey, you know what, commentary channel video today, we're just going to play some more Taboy. Because it turned out super well. It turned out amazing. And if you watch the style video, you know, you watch the rambling aspect of me, where I just kind of talk about stuff, I appreciate you. You the real ones. Just watching whatever I post, but also watching some cool content. Because personally, uh, if I wasn't the one making this video, I would have plopped this in the background while I was working on other stuff, playing games or something, and just listened to the audio and just vibed. Because that's what I do usually. I put on like a podcast or something, and I just, I just, you know, listen to a video. Northern Lion, Ludwig, The Yard, whatever it might be. And also, it's nice to know that we can get Petrified Poop in a normal run. I thought we had to unlock it or something, but it seems that we either already unlocked it or uh, it's just there by default. And what Petrified Poop does is that these areas that have a lot of poop items in them, you can break the poop and Petrified Poop guarantees a higher chance at drops. So it's like all of these could have been keys and coins and stuff. But what are you? Alright. Eight keys total. I mean, hey, might as well overkill it if we're going to end this run like that. <laughs> Ah, oh, man. I am I am enjoying this. You know, we started off talking about just drama going on in Fortnite land, and then it turned into something way better. We, we turned into us just talking about the amazing world of the Binding of Isaac. Anyways, you ready to see the fastest boss fight ever? Hey, what's up, Mom? Bye, Mom. <laughs> That's it. It's over. <laughs> We've beat it, boys. <sighs> Oh, if we wanted to, we could go even further. Oh, no. Uh, I... <sighs> Here's the seed, by the way, if anyone wants it. Do we go further? I, I kind of want to. This run's really good. At the same time, I don't know, man. What, what do we fight? What do we fight if we go further? Uh, the Binding of Isaac. Do I look it up? Uh, do I look it up or do I just go? I'm scared. Uh... <sighs> Hmm. I I don't know. I'm trying to think here. I, I'm also like typing it in. I have the chapter areas on Google, but I'm like, do I open it fully or do I not? If we go through here, if we go through the womb, we finish through that, we go to uh cathedral. If I remember correctly, and on the cathedral we fight Isaac. Do I think I can beat Isaac? Is it Isaac that we fight in Cathedral? Man, I don't know. I don't know, man. It would be another item we unlocked if we did it. Yeah, we're just going to do it. Screw it. We're just doing it. We're just doing it. We're do we're full sending it, boys. We are full sending it all the way through here. And it's time. For something I'm scared to do. Oh, oh, oh! What are these bosses? Oh, 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 man! No, 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 no! I, I, you know what? I'm scared now. I'm a very frail and scared boy. Mummy, I'm, I'm scared. Ooh, man. I, I, this might, this might be the death of me, to be honest here. Oh, oh boy! Oh no! Oh, this is going downhill. It's going downhill. This is this is where everything ends. This is the end of it all. Oh uh, no! <laughs> oh wait, flight. Me, <laughs> you can't catch me. Up, ah, up, you got me. Let's just let's just stay here in this pit. Let's just let's just stay in the pit where we're safe. I'm scared of everything. This was this was a terrible choice. Why did I think to go through with it? I don't even know if the boss is actually Isaac. For all I know, it could be Blue Baby. Oh, no. Oh, man. Oh, I don't have flight anymore. I don't have flight anymore. No. No, 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 no. I don't have flight. I don't have flight. I don't have flight. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. No, 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 this is where it all goes to die. This is where dreams become memes. Really. The game knows how much I hate these guys. And they're going to give me a room full of them? What is this? 
Oh, oh, we are screwed. There's no way. I, I ruined it. I ruined the run. <gasps> Did we still get the achievement? Did we still get the un... Oh, no. Oh, that hurts. It was worth it for content. It was worth it for content. <laughs> I hope you champs and champions enjoyed today's video, enjoyed me risking it. Did we still- Oh, we at least got the Eden token. And we got uh, Lazarus, Magdalene. So we did unlock some new characters. So that's nice. But... <sighs> I hope you enjoyed today's YouTube video. Uh, if you did, consider subscribing to support the content I create. And hopefully in the next run we do, we don't end up risking it for the biscuit too hard where we just end up losing everything. But with that said, I'll catch you champs and jammets next time with another YouTube video. Peace out.